I'm doing Death vs. Hard, pop culture, entertainment, things like that. And not too long ago, Ben Chu and Camille Vasquez went to one of Johnny Depp's concerts and it got some attention. And I wanted to cover this People article because a lot of times they take Amber's side. So I wanted to see what they said about this. Johnny Depp performs at DC concert with his Amber Heard trial lawyers in audience. What exactly does that mean? His Amber Heard trial lawyers. Kind of an odd way to put it, but all right. Johnny Depp performed alongside guitarist Jeff Beck at a concert in Washington, D.C. just over four months since a verdict was reached in his Virginia defamation trial against ex-wife Amber Heard. Depp and Beck, who released an album together over the summer, began their U.S. tour, which goes through November and has stops in Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Nashville, and more at the Anthem on Tuesday night. And they go on to say that Ben and Camille were there with VIP passes. No need to mention that. We could have figured that out. They mentioned the verdict and that Johnny won. They mentioned Amber also won a little bit of the counterclaim. Okay, all factual so far. And they feature this picture. And you know what? I just noticed that Ben Chu has John Lennon pants on, basically. Which is actually amazing, because I'm a huge John Lennon fan. And that makes Ben a lot better. All right, good on that. I'm happy about this. Let's keep going. Some of the avid Depp fans who attended the court proceedings earlier this year showed up for the rock performance Tuesday. Joanne Garcia, who went to the trial frequently, says the concert felt like a reunion of Depp fans who met each other at the courthouse. It was great coming here. It felt like a reunion. I saw so many people from the trial. I felt like it was just family being with them again. We were together for six weeks. We went through a lot, and we saw Johnny go through a lot as well, she tells people. And I was so glad to see Camille and Ben, and we all felt really close to each other for some reason, a special connection with each other. And that's one reason, just my feelings here, is that it just felt like this crowd of people supporting Johnny was like such great people. A lot of us have very heavy political differences, but we never really seem to fight about it. We usually just let separate things be separate and concentrate on supporting Johnny and the facts of the case. I mean, here and there, there's the occasional fight and fallout, which happens between people when there's millions of people. Obviously, at some point, there's going to be some kind of fight or whatever. But in general, it's like 95% just all people coming together for what they believe in. And that's probably the feeling this person got there. And they talk about someone who met Depp at a tattoo parlor, which I guess Depp must be at once in a while. That's obvious. And Depp said, I get to play with these guys somehow weird but amazing. Depp said after playing his first few songs with Beck, I want to say thank you to a lot of people who are in this room. Depp didn't say much more between the songs he sang lead vocals on, but that didn't stop some of his female fans from throwing underwear and bras onto the stage during the final song. I'm not sure that needs to be mentioned. But, okay, people. So they slip in something, I guess, to try to make you think about what type of people are there. I don't know. It's kind of a common thing. It's not really weird for women to, like, take off their top and do stuff like that at rock concerts. But, okay, that's the worst thing so far. And I guess it probably actually happened, so fine. Then they mention Joelle Rich. People confirm last month that Depp is dating attorney Joelle Rich, who previously represented him in his 2020 UK libel case, but there's no confirmation on that, actually, from anyone else, and no real evidence and confirmation. So, okay, thank you, people, for telling us you confirmed something that's not actually confirmed. But all right, not the worst thing. And they mentioned the MTV Music Awards, but they mentioned that Amber's sister spoke out against the appearance for absolutely no reason. So they've got a great article here about Johnny, things that happened, they're doing okay, nothing completely negative, and they mentioned that Amber's sister spoke out against Johnny for no reason. All right, going to give him a pretty big minus two on that. But that's it. That's where it ends. All right. So all in all, considering people many times takes Amber's side, Didn't do so bad on this one. Looks like they tried to sneak in some things that they thought would be perceived as negative. But okay. It's a fairly positive report about Johnny and Jeff kicking butt, playing some music, 
and moving on with Johnny's career. Let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Shout out to Laura B. She sent me this on Twitter. I appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed here and you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it, make a new video, something like that. Done here for now. See you next time.